Welcome to Effector from the Electronic Frontier Foundation. This is the audio edition of EFF's email newsletter geared towards keeping you on the bleeding edge of your digital rights. Check the show notes for links to all of our stories. This is Effector Volume 34, Issue 5, titled, How This Data Broker Is Selling Mass Surveillance to Local Police. This issue was published on Friday, October 7th, 2022, and I'm your host, Member Outreach Assistant, Christian Romero. Let's start with our top feature. Inside Fog Data Science, the secretive company selling mass surveillance to local police. EFF staff put together a series on Fog Data Science, a data broker that has been selling raw location data about individual people to federal, state, and local law enforcement agencies. This personal data isn't gathered from cell phone towers or tech giants like Google. It's obtained by the broker via thousands of different apps on Android and iOS app stores as part of the larger location data marketplace. Next, let's run through some EFF updates. First up, automated license plate readers threaten abortion access. Here's how policymakers can mitigate the risk. Law enforcement agencies around the country have adopted mass surveillance technology that uses cameras to track the vehicles of every driver on the road. In the wake of the U.S. Supreme Court's Dobbs ruling, that technology may soon be turned against people seeking abortions, the people who support them, and the workers who provide reproductive health care. Next up, How to Ditch Facebook Without Losing Your Friends, or Family, Customers, or Communities. We launched How to Ditch Facebook Without Losing Your Friends, a narrated slideshow and essay explaining how Facebook locks in its users, how interoperability can free them, and what it would feel like to use an interoperable Facebook of the future. Next up, San Francisco's Board of Supervisors grants police more surveillance powers. In a 4-7 to seven vote, San Francisco's Board of Supervisors passed a 15-month pilot program granting the San Francisco Police Department more live surveillance powers. Next up, study of electronic monitoring smartphone apps confirms advocates' concerns of privacy harms. Researchers at the University of Washington and Harvard Law School recently published a groundbreaking study analyzing the technical capabilities of 16 electronic monitoring smartphone apps used as alternatives to criminal and civil detention. Next up, we've got our last update. Online Privacy for Nonprofits, a Guide to Better Practices. This EFF guide is intended for organizations to improve their privacy practices with particular focus on marketing and analytics. All right, let's move on to our announcement. EFF Awards 2022. For 30 years, the Electronic Frontier Foundation has recognized leaders on the Electronic Frontier at our annual Pioneer Award Ceremony. This year, we're taking a new step to recognize the ways in which the digital world has fused with modern life. We invite you to celebrate the first annual EFF Awards. And now we've got one job opening. Associate General Counsel. EFF is looking for a full-time Associate General Counsel to identify and analyze legal issues impacting EFF as an organization, draft key documents, present clear recommendations to top management, and assure legal compliance. And now we've got a handful of mini-links. This first one comes from the Detroit Metro Times. Detroit op-ed, Shotspotter Profits Off Fears of Gun Violence. A Detroit-based technology surveillance researcher penned this op-ed calling on the city not to expand the Shotspotter program with new American Rescue Plan Act funds. This next one comes from the Sacramento Bee. Lawsuit claims Sacramento Municipal Utility District illegally gave user data to police, enabling discriminatory pot enforcement. EFF filed a lawsuit this week with the Asian American Liberation Network in Sacramento Superior Court, alleging that the Sacramento Municipal Utility District is, quote, searching entire zip codes worth of people's private data and disclosing it, end quote, to the Sacramento Police Department in bulk without a court order or investigation. This next one comes from PC Mag. FTC moves to create rules to stop data surveillance, lacks cybersecurity. The U.S. regulator is going to take input from the public on crafting new privacy rules, which could target data collection from online advertisers and social media firms. This next one comes from Vice. This is the data Facebook gave police to prosecute a teenager for abortion. Under court order, Facebook released private messages to Nebraska law enforcement officials leading to the prosecution of a 17-year-old girl and her mother under the state's attempt to restrict abortion access. This next one comes from usnews.com. Nashville, no license plate readers in imposing abortion ban. 
Nashville's City Council has unanimously approved a ban on the use of data from the city's automated license plate readers for investigating and prosecuting a Tennessee's abortion ban. Privacy advocates say the City Council's initiative doesn't go far enough. This final mini-link comes from TechCrunch. Amazon's iRobot deal faces renewed scrutiny. Some lawmakers are pushing the Federal Trade Commission to reject Amazon's acquisition of Roomba maker iRobot for what they describe as anti-competitive practices. Meanwhile, privacy advocates voice concern about the possibility that Amazon will use the products to map consumers' homes. And that's it. Thanks for listening. If you like what you're hearing, be sure to sign up for the email version of Effector, which includes links to in-depth coverage of these stories and more. See past issues and subscribe at EFF.org slash Effector. That's EFF.org slash E-F-F-E-C-T-O-R. Before we end this issue of the newsletter, I just want to let you know that EFF is a member-supported nonprofit organization, and you can help us protect digital privacy, security, and free expression for everyone. Donate to EFF today and even grab a bit of gear by heading over to EFF.org slash Effect. That's EFF.org slash E-F-F-E-C-T. You can become a member for as little as $25 or even sign up as a monthly or annual donor. Thanks for your support, and I hope you'll join us for the next issue of Effector.